this this conversation is far beyond 50 50 right this is just the what how we how we got arrived here right yeah, but i think that the deeper conversation is really understanding what you have yeah. who you have right because a lot of times it's and so the easy pros and the pros and the yeah, cons of it's so yeah. easy to look at what somebody else has or who somebody else doing the moment i was able to strip everything else of what I was seeing in anybody mm-hmm. else and love you for who you are to me, for what I appreciate, that's when I really was like, man, you know what? I, I'm really locked in with this woman. You were like, mm-hmm. this is really my woman and this is the person I want to marry because it's been so many times and I, I fall short too when we sit down, we talk and people be like, damn, man, I wish my right. girl would have put up 50 bands for my business. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, like, right, right, right. But it's easy to do that right. and I had to tell some of my friends that because they be like, man, I wish my girl was like, Sade, what I'd be like, bro, don't yeah. do that, bro. Yeah. Like that's that's not that's yeah. the last thing you want to do cuz that's yeah. going to hurt you. Yo, you know what time it is? Uh Gemini Scorpio podcast is popping. You know what time it is? The vibes. She Shade is here. She Shade is here. Also known also formerly known as Hilary Bay. When you want to change your name to Mrs. Bay Hill. Damn. Or when we get married. That's hard. Mr. J Hill or Mrs. Bay Hill. Yeah, when we get married. We've been using that. We've been doing Bay Hill since we got together. Bro, that's hard. Mrs. Bay Hill or Mrs. J Hill? Yeah. You got to get on brand, man. I'm... Too fine. I need my other band. Oh, man. <laughs> what up, y'all, man? You already know time it is. Your boy, Mr. J Hill. We in the building. My lovely fiance is here. Hey, babe. We are here. We got the gang here. A-Rod is here. Yes, sir. My guy Dylan is here. Yes, sir. My guy Kyron is here. Yes, sir. For the day one listeners, I know all of those names is completely foreign to you. Oh, wow. I know. <laughs> we used to go down like a 13-man band. Facts. <laughs> Who used to have uh, Joseph D. Friend? Right. Alexander, Alexander DeBlanc, DeBlanc is going to be here. He's still our producer. He's still recording with us. Yes, sir. Can't wait till he get down here. Yeah, he's going to come down Shout here. Shout out to Alexander DeBlanc. Yeah. Um. Who else we had? We had oh, Gio to Leo. Gio to Leo. Oh, shit. Sexy Lexi. Lex in the City. Lex in the City. Uh, Pink Celebrity. Damn. Uh, we had a lot of people going. There's a Taz. Cannon We Boys. really had a gang. Yeah, we did. I, I just burped too. That's just and cool. I miss y'all. I was like... Let me fart? I'll kill you. Nah, I'm just saying, hey, I can not fart. Not in this hot ass room. I can fart. What you won't do is hot box me in here. All right. Yeah, that'll be the end of the episode. That's what I think. Try me. I think that's what. It'll be just curtains of you right here. I, be closed curtains. <laughs> closed curtains. <laughs> exactly. Yo, closed I, uh, curtains. I think that's where uh, Lana get it from. What? Me. Oh my God, that is a gassy baby. <laughs> She's a very <laughs> gassy uh, baby. Uh, yes. She yeah. takes her morning shits. Like my faithfully, so, faithfully. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, nah, I missed the gang too, though. <laughs> yes, I was thinking about them uh, when we did the baby shower, and I was just like, "Oh, it was so cool to just see so much of our gang there because it was such they were along such a journey with us, mm-hmm. and it was like, damn, we were just recording every week for two years, what? and then all of a sudden they at the baby shower. It's a proposal that was lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah we really moment. was record. Yeah, we really was doing this every week. We bro. was outside. We was inside, but we was, we was outside. inside, but we was we, we was, was moving like we was we outside. Was move- yeah, we was. Re- I feel like we really put a, a fingerprint on the of DMV course we with did. the. Uh, of course we did. With the Gemini Scorpio podcast. Yeah, of course we did. I had people coming up to me like, yeah, you do the Gemini Scorpio podcast? No, nigga, I do uh, no <laughs> ghostwriter freestyle. Like, they're like, yeah, you do the Gemini Scorpio podcast? Right. Uh, yeah, rebrand it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had a girl, yo, the girl, it was the, uh, the other day, we in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. We getting food from the Chinese spot, right? Shorty say, you do the podcast, right? I'm like, yeah, that's me. You feel me? I'm thinking like she just watching the interview. She's like, you the guy that do the podcast, right? I'm like, yeah, you know that's me. <laughs> you know that's like, me. Oh my god, I'm about to go get my boyfriend first of all. <laughs> when she said that, I'm like, you gotta be lying. He's like, I'm about to go get my boyfriend. Please, I'm no. like, I don't think this is a good idea. I ain't say this, but yeah. in my mind, I'm like, I don't think this is a good idea. But cool. So she was gone for like 15 minutes. I knew. So at that point, first of all, our food is taking forever to, to come, right? So at that moment, I'm like, yeah, they probably arguing or something like that. Because why would you go get me to see another nigga? But whatever, okay. So, mind she come in the uh, back to the Chinese spot with the puppy dog eyes. Damn, she might see this because she clearly watched it. But Aww. she come in there like, uh, he he um he he double parking or something. I ain't going yeah. in to see no motherfucking nigga. That's what he said. You out like, here acting like a friend. But she tried to play it off. She was like, yeah, mm-hmm. he just double Aww. parked outside. So, uh, it's all good. She was like, yeah, but we, uh, I love y'all podcast. I'm like. Y'all. Y'all. Like, <laughs> what? Like, oh, that's what you're talking oh, about. Oh, you thought this was J-Hill podcast? <laughs> yeah. she, like, she was referring to the Gemini Scorpio podcast. She, I'm like, you not did that. Mm-hmm. Like, she's like, you could have got with a podcast. I'm like, I don't, yeah, that's me. Yeah, I do the interviews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's like, yeah, we love y'all podcast. 
<laughs> okay. Whatever. That's how you try to drag me back in. No, 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 man. I mean, I'm dragging you back in to work for show. You see, yeah. I, I make it different this time. I make it. Yeah, I like what you did here. Oh, thank you, you babe. Did a great job. You know, usually you don't want to record in my studio, so I, I want to. I had it, to make it something. You know, you did very good. It was, sometimes it's a little too masculine for me. Sometimes yeah. it was like, can I have some? But this is very nice. Your new, your, your last studios have all been fired, but yeah. I just love what you did with this place. It's appreciate beautiful. it, babe. Appreciate. It. We still working on some things. Me and the team bodied it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yo, well, um, I thank you guys for allowing me in your space. By the way, yeah, you because this is definitely your space. Yeah, you welcome. Yeah, don't what forget. The fuck? <laughs> don't forget. You welcome. Hey, the thanks. gang is here. You hey. Thanks, thanks for letting me borrow your team. Because we used to have a team together. We have a separate team. Yeah, yeah, we had we, we had a we had a team together. Then we had separate teams. Yeah. Now you got your own team again. You know, I feel honored to be a part. Yeah. You know, hopefully they remember, work with me one day too. Re- remember, uh, uh, so, uh, uh, <laughs> remember when you tried to do your when you was doing with the girls, it, with the girls, yes, and I had Ken out here. You was like, yeah, I'm like, I just can't. It's just so much. Like it was a lot. I can't do it. He thought you. you. Could, he thought you. I could thought do. I was you. He thought you could just pull up and just record. It's just, yeah, it's lit. I was stressed the fuck out. Okay, <laughs> I was. She but thought, your, but the, but your team back home was holding me down though. They was pulling up when they could for sure. No, nah, facts. Yeah, Gio De Leo was in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah, God, yeah. Jeremy, the neighbor. Shout out to Jeremy, yeah. yeah sh- shout out to Jeremy. Yo, we didn't really had a squad. Yeah, we is... had a lot of people, a lot of equipment, and a lot of luggage in. Bro, meantime, meanwhile, I had people just dipping on me without texting me, just, oh my just God. going MIA. Bro, I can't make this up, bro. My line caught here. I can really got. You've been through some players, though. Bro, I got people flirting with other people. I had to, like, <laughs> drop people, like, leave people alone because nah, they it, making people had, uncomfortable. You had, you, had, you, had some, you had some players. My last camera girl, she ain't even, I ain't, she ain't with MIA. She still got my old studio key. Oh, my God. Well, guess what? New access, baby. New, <laughs> new can't, access. You can't, you can't get up in here. <laughs> access denied. <laughs> <laughs> and we moved up a little bit, too. That's yeah, it. finally got a piece of the pie. No cap. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't the, 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 yeah. uh, the deluxe apartment, but it's like the eighth floor. It's yeah, cool. this is a great floor. Yeah, man. What's Thanks up, babe? Uh, episode 80? Episode 80. Mm-hmm. How you feeling, man? What's going on? I feel like I'm never going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Alani. Been running circles. Is giving us the business. They, it's so fun, but it's so tiring. They said that it got better over time. They lied. Yeah, because Alani was like very peaceful. She's still a good baby. She's just in that stage. Boy. Yeah. So, yeah, there's no sleep right now. She, cause she, cause what's happening is she stay up longer now. Mm-hmm. So, at first, like, you, you wake up, you get the little yeah. cool. Ooh, and then she go to sleep. She... Get some food in there, she yeah. go to sleep. Mm-hmm. Now, you wake up, she cry, you feed her, she chill. Mm-hmm. She cries some more. Mm-hmm. Then you gotta feed her some more. And she cries some more. <laughs> and she don't just go back. It's just crazy. Man, it's going crazy. But she, yeah. you've been doing your thing, though, for real. You, too. Uh, you've been holding the fort down. I appreciate it. <laughs> How you feeling? Man, I don't know. I feel good. Uh, I don't know. I think it's, uh, you know, a lot of transitions. It's a lot of transitions. It's too many damn transitions. Yeah. We're moving. <laughs> we just had a newborn. We're in the process of moving. Yo, last You just time. moved your studio. I just moved my... They gave me five days, bro. They, I was working. They gave me five days. They called you. They called me. They didn't, was it five days? Probably wasn't even that. Yeah. Then I just feel like last episode we talked about how like is it's your turn to yeah. go through some. Yeah, you feel like it's your turn. Like yeah. times 10. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I was watching this episode. I was watching this podcast and um, I was watching a clip on Instagram and a guy was saying uh, one of the reasons why he's he stays happy because he lost it all before. Mm. And he was asked the host, he was like, yo, you ever lose it all before? He's like, man, I was messed up before. Yeah, I'm going. He's like, no, no, no. Have no. you lost it all? Have you lost it all? And I love the way they did Shout out to my guys at uh, Fat Nasty Podcast. Um, My guy Rich and uh, Nate. I love the way they did the clip because somebody asked me that. I'm, my my first initial thought is, yeah, man, I lost it all before. But, but have you he, really? Yeah, he stopped. He's mm-hmm. like, nah, have you lost it all? Like sleeping outside. Mm-hmm. Like, I... I ain't had yeah, no crib, yeah. but when at that at that moment yeah. when I had no crib, that wasn't really my fault. It was my yeah. mom's fault, but I still had friends, stuff like that. Yeah, somewhere was, to go. Yeah, I was young. Place I was in college. Yeah. Yeah. So when he said him, like, she's I never lost it all. God so bless. that's a that's, that's a, a blessing. blessing right there. Mm-hmm. So no matter what's going on, you know, the job situation, that's scary. Very as hell. Scary. All across the board. As hell. Just here today and gone tomorrow. How you get fired? 
a day or like like after, it, after right after you have a newborn like having a newborn fresh yeah. within a month that's crazy yeah but like jobs really don't really it it's really no security in anything it's not it's none so literally use your fucking pto mm. take your sick leave facts oh cuz Baby, I don't play them games no more. I'm taking a sick leave. I'm going on vacation. Yo. I'm taking the days off just to sleep. What happened is, um, what happened? You all right? You want to lift it up? I know I wasn't crazy, man. Come on, man. Oh, Dylan, you can do it. Come on. Yeah. You can just lift it up and then tighten it. You good? Sorry, yeah, guy. We like, messed up the audio, but whatever. Uh, you yeah, had to no. fix the mic. Jobs don't give a damn about you, bro. At all. And it, it, what happened is, place you tomorrow. You get you get in a job. You think you're doing good? Yeah, like my job. I love you. Yeah. Damn. Nobody love you. Nobody it's politics. Lo- they love you while they need you. Facts. No cap, bro. Yeah. But I think um, you're doing a great job, baby. No, I appreciate it. Was a sign because I think I, I really need to f- like zone in on your podcast. Zone in on this space. Yeah. Um, I know it sounds cliche, like yeah, I'm a shit, a leap of faith, but mm-hmm. it's like I think that really was. I did get comfortable. Mm-hmm. And as much as we used to talk about how like I love my my career, I'm never gonna let a job, you know, like I'm always put something yeah. towards my dream. I, I could I, I I was almost feeling the comfortability slip away. I mean, shit, I was making mm-hmm. a couple of dollars every mm-hmm. month, bro. I mean, mm-hmm. god damn. Yeah. So yeah. And I think a couple times you just said, I mean, should I just I did. Yeah. I, yeah, I he did. He was like, uh, should I just, you know, focus on money and you know Yeah. You was. Cause, Cause it's okay. Cause like, I, never, I feel like that happens. I feel like us together, we never like we we was able to talk about transitions. We was able to see a uh, a side of us or and, and uh, just a side of life yeah. that we never seen together yeah. before, mm-hmm. and that felt good. It like did. I can't lie. So and I think yeah. a lot of times people say it ain't about the money. It ain't about the money. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what they say, money made me happy. I don't know what the hell you talking right. about. What Drake say? Um. Uh. What do he say? Um. What? I forgot. Drake says a it's lot a of Drake. shit. He be saying. Like, he say a lot of nah, shit. Nah, I'm gonna find that shit now. What's the that Drake shit. lyric? Niggas with oh, niggas with no money. Uh, act like money ain't, isn't everything. Yeah, niggas with no money said that. Yeah, niggas with no money <laughs> act like money isn't everything. Right. I'm having a good time. Right. <laughs> right. Y'all just trying to ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the fact that I'm the youngest nigga. No, I'm yes. just so yeah. I, I, it's so easy to look. And then what happened is when you do get to a certain point, right? When you're making so much money. You forget about the struggle, so your yeah. your, your, your struggles are different, yeah. and it does make you. It makes it easier. Like it ain't about the money. Then he turned around and said something about balance, but the balance is in my account now. Facts, yeah. <laughs> like, it's a life about balance, but the balance is no cap. Yeah. So like, yeah, it's easy to say that when yeah. when you rich. Yeah. And, 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 your, and your struggles are different. I'm yeah. not saying or that. Or when they're over. Struggles. Like, like people typically are talking about this stuff when they're past the hurdles. Yeah. Like they they. Financial, yeah, hurdles. yeah, financial because hurdles. Because we can't yeah, ignore that as trials and tribulations are uh, for be there. sure, for sure. But the financial hurdles when they're over, some, some I said because nobody's technically ever fully satisfied. You know, mm-hmm. it's always another ladder to climb. But when they get to a certain point where they feel like okay, stability is at least stable. Facts. Because it's not just. I don't think it's always just about. It's not just people with money. It's people when they hit a certain certain area of stability mm. where they don't really have to worry about yeah. food bills. When they want to go somewhere out to eat, travel, whatever, those things are covered now. You know what I'm saying? And that doesn't make you the richest person. It just makes you a really financially stable person. Mm -hmm. And when a lot of people get there, that's when they do get a little content and Mm -hmm. like, I'm good. Like, and they typically go into these standpoints of like, you know, when I was there, when I was there, when I was there, but you're not there anymore. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You know what I mean? But the thing is, like you said, is the real issue is you can be there again at any moment. That's why. It's like you got to keep a level of humbleness and hunger because literally and once you feel it, you understand that this can like just when you go up and you get financial stability, you get to a certain point and then boom, you drop again. You get that level of like, I'll never just that, no, I never I will never sit here and say I got it all together ever again, because you know what? At any point, if I'm relying on a job. Or even if I'm relying on myself, like you said, Anything sometimes it's just your turn to go through some shit. So you could just be relying on yourself, being an entrepreneur, doing your business, minding your business, drinking your water, and do what you got to do. And here go, boom. You but know, that's same why thing. When I, even when I get it, like I be so tight yeah. with it. I seen, uh, I seen Amy say mm-hmm. this on Baller. I really show. like Amy. No, nah, nah, Amy the dog. I really like her. I yeah, I like her story. I like her uh, 
humility. Like she, yeah. she, she talked from the bottom, but she, she's she, a Gemini. I know. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Shout out to yeah, my I good Gemini. I, sister. I guess I do like you guys. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, I rock with Amy. I rock with Mozzie too. Yeah. But yeah, she, um, she was saying how you know, like, uh, I guess when they was going through their situation, when she got money, she was acting broker. Mm-hmm. And I feel like the same way because it's like, bro, you when you see a different lifestyle. It's like my worst nightmare like, is to go back. Yeah. Like my like when I saw it differently, I'm like, bro, the last thing I want to do is go back. Go so back I gotta put was. up a hundred a hundred in the bank account. Yeah. I might make a hundred. I might save a hundred because yeah. I ain't going and back. We eat hot pockets. Facts, bro. Yeah. Like that's crazy because like, bro, we eat hot pockets. You don't need to eat hot pockets. Shit. Right. To put this hundred K up. Yes, I do. You out check. Yeah. Mother goodbye. Yeah. Nah, for real. Yeah. So like I think um definitely when you see it, you, you we had those times where yeah. um it was funny because like I think I when I when I finally got a job to make six figures, I wanted to have fun. First of all, before we even get there, mm-hmm. bro, why we live our entire life? Maybe not you because you're from like Montgomery County, oh, please. DC. Here y'all we got go. great jobs. I mean, y'all got a great yeah. Me, I'm from Baltimore. So okay. live this life thinking like, yo, a hundred thousand we make I make six figures, I'm rich. I'm I'm lit. No, well, I think at a time six figures was a good standpoint, especially when the median household was making only fifty two. You know what I'm saying? So like like and that's the median of a household was fifty two. You were doing very well if you was hitting sixty. Mm, what was and this? such a this like maybe like five, pre, six, five pre, years pre ago. Probably pre COVID. Like if you were hitting if you were hitting sixty thousand, you don't you, you were considered to do fairly well. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody even still wasn't now, a lot more people, whether it's due to tech and the, the, the I'm going to call it the scam and the tech. Yo, don't do that. You just get it. You get it. You learn something. I'm not mad at it. I ain't say I was hating on it. I'm just saying there's just far more people in tech it's than I've ever seen. There's mad black people in tech, and that's a not good thing. Not even black. Like, just people. I ain't even putting a brace <laughs> on it. Don't put those words in my mouth. But I do love it for everybody because I'm happy for y'all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Get to your coin. Get to your coin. You sound like a hater. What the fuck? Why would I hate on it? I tried to get into Scrum too. <laughs> Could you try I, to get I it? finessed into Scrum too. I'm not saying anything. Right. You know what I'm saying? I tried to finesse my way into. But all I'm gonna say is like, it's far more people making hundred k now. That's exactly why it doesn't seem like the most amount of money now, though. Bro, because also while it's happening, it look it's 2023. It's ridiculous. Look at look at the prices of everything right now. Look at look the cost of living. Look where everybody's trying to live. Niggas like 100k not a lot, but want to live in Midtown. Yo, God, it's <laughs> like not duh, fair. like bro, not facts, bro. We paid. I don't know if you know this. <laughs> Do you know in the last two years, we paid this apartment complex damn almost eighty thousand dollars. Do you know how insane that is? That's retarded. Do you not like And people be bragging about yeah, my rent is well you stupid. Right. <laughs> like, now you dumb. Like you're not it's not right. it's, it's not nothing I want to brag about. I don't even want to tell yeah. you. Yeah. But yeah. That's, like close to just, eighty yeah. So a hundred K technically it's in it because I hate that people try to make it like it's a little money either, because a lot of jobs are not paying a hundred K. Like you have to have specific jobs yeah. for them to be paying you a hundred K. There's a lot of jobs that's just not paying you a hundred K. You gotta understand, even like it's crazy. I literally hear my mom looking for jobs and she's telling me that the price that they're giving her and I'm it's like ridiculous. Yo, you got to be fucking kidding me. They're still out here paying people low ball prices. Dylan, what's it's the, not um, the median the average uh what is it? Um uh, minimum wage. Not even minimum wage. What's the average salary? Georgia, sal- I think it's like seventeen. What's the average salary that people and I think are making it just went up in the United States? I think it just went up like a dollar. Let's like, look at the average salary. Let's not even say minimum wage. Let's just check the average salary of uh fifty two. Fifty two. Fifty nine. Fifty nine. Yo Fifty nine thousand dollars. That's the average salary. That's ridiculous, bro. That's crazy. Fifty nine thousand, yo. And like you know, it's crazy when they say a hundred uh, over a hundred k uh, households. It's really for two incomes. They're not even talking about one. Mm. Talking about two. So a lot of times it's like, oh, if you have like make a hundred twenty household income, it's for two people. So that's insane, right? So now that's why I said like you know. A lot of people are doing a lot better than they, 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 you know, they think they are too. It's just that we're also chasing a lot of things we have no busy chasing. Like what? Like you I'm know, just like, trying to survive. No, and hear me out, right? We, you know, I love a luxury <laughs> lifestyle. You already know how I play the games. Hey. But I'm saying, like, like think about it. Like a lot of people get 100k. They want to go to I don't know Dubai. They're trying to buy Range Rovers and Benzes. 
They're fucking living in sky rises. Yeah, the sky you know, rises like, probably t- too. What, 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 sorry, now I'm going to bring it to race. What the Caucasians do when they got 100K? They driving that Toyota. Facts. No, that's a fact. I think They're that's a black thing for sure. They're taking a timeshare once a year with their yeah. family. Already paid, planned for from three years ago. But I think it's because... They're not buying all this designer. Not making it. Not making no excuse for our yeah. people. Yeah. We really wasn't taught financial freedom. Yeah, of course. So We're excited. I, yeah, so of course when I'm no, when I'm I, not mad at it. When I upgrade my 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 job, I want to upgrade my my, my my living and my wardrobe. Yeah. Not knowing that if I upgrade my 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 living and my wardrobe, yeah. I'm upgrading my expenses. Yeah. So now I'm back yeah. to square one. Back to square one. But yeah. they didn't. Teach but I'm not that. mad at that though, because I think we do should have some type of abundance and living that birthright. And I think a lot of times what. I'm okay with doing what I do see that people do is once you get it, you have to obtain it. So you got to work harder. And mm. we gonna, and you know, a lot of people going to work. Well, I hope a lot of people work harder. No, if thanks. you get it, it's like, I can't stop here. I got to set the bar. So hopefully, as long as you're not settling at that point, like even you, you got your first 100K job, you got another one. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I think like you got to hit it to feel it though. If you don't feel it, you'll never feel it. No, so thanks. once you feel it, you buy your little first, like, you know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, boom. Like, ah. Got to do it again. I got to keep up with it. So I got to get another. I got to hit another tier. I got to get another security clearance. I got to get another certificate. I got to get another level. I got to get to another level. So that I keep this lifestyle and double it. But also, um, just, I think you got to make it. You got to be, you got to, just from my experience, Mm -hmm. I think you got to lose something to understand how to keep it though. That's very true. To cherish it. Like I remember when I first, when we first got down here, Mm -hmm. I was having fun. Yeah. You was. Buying stuff. Having a lot of fun. You was having a but, ball, actually. You buying stuff, and the next thing you know, I think I had lost one of the jobs or whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, damn. But look at that full circle moment, right? Mm-hmm. You already had did that. Yeah. You got another one. Yeah, but I did it differently this time. Yeah, for sure. You did it great. <laughs> <laughs> I did it different this time. But I I think that you have to do that. Like, yeah, for you sure. You know what I'm saying? Have, you got to have your fun. Like, life can't be so serious all the time. Get money, pay bills, get money, get pay bills, get money, pay bills. Like, I'm, you know, I'm a firm believer is get money... Enjoy your fucking soul. Mm. The money gonna come. Raise your high vibration. It'll lead you to it. It's no, gonna come fast. regardless. So speaking of all these finances, mm-hmm. right? It's just this, bro. I feel like we've been talking about this for years. This conversation around 50-50. This I hate been that we gotta talk. We had yeah, to talk no. about it. I hate it. I just hate it because like I feel like when a lot of people are talking about it, they're not even talking to their own situation. It just really irritates me. Sheesh. They be talking to situations that they either think they're gonna be in, wanna be in. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. they be like, yeah, because my man got paid all the bills. Never even date with a, a nigga who paid a bill. Mm. <laughs> like, I'd be like, what are you talking that's, about? That's crazy. Uh, be like, oh, I don't, I want my woman to work. Woo, like, you know what I'm saying? Getting girls that be asking them for everything. Like, it just be like, they be always talking about the situation and don't be their situation. So I'd be trying to figure out what is your situation so you can do what works for you mm-hmm. because. Talking to other people's situations really. A lot not. of people just be regurgitating shit. And they, yeah, you know literally. A lot of people up. just they just love the attention. Mm-hmm. So they just be throwing out different yeah. comments on on a, online. To, yeah. To get the attention. Yeah. Or or comments on these podcasts and shit like that. Right. So 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 we can share like. So first of all, oh, right. Let's paint a picture. What is fifty fifty? I think so. As my big age now, because mm-hmm. I'm not gonna say I always looked at fifty fifty like this either, because I also looked at it probably from one perspective what of was it, it, it was fifty fifty like splitting bills in half, mm. like everything goes in half. Just let me you know everything. Everything if goes that's in half. Fifty fifty. That's what I. I'm with that. As a big, <laughs> as my grown let's big do age, that. let's do that. Skirt. As my grown big age. 50-50 is not just splitting everything in the middle. It's not, I wish. Yeah, it's just not that. I'm with that, though. Listen, if I had to give y'all some advice right now, right? I think <laughs> every relationship should go 50-50. Yeah, let's go 50-50. Mm-hmm. Let's go 50-50. Mm-hmm. I'm with it, 100%. But, okay, so this is what I was... Let, let me touch back on that. 50-50 is only that if everything is 50-50. Yeah. Right? It's not just the bills. It's everything we do in the house, all the cooking, all the cleaning. Do you think that... All the, that could ever happen. No. Right. I don't. I don't think so either. Right. And that's why I say yeah. when I used to look at it, 50-50 used to be splitting all the bills down in the middle. But then at my big grown age, all the other things that goes into maintaining and raising and nurturing a household is also just as mentally and financially taxing as the 50-50. Mm. So I now look at it. I don't really think it's 50-50. I think it's you going to do what you could do and I'm going to do what I could do and we're going to do it to the best of our ability. Mm. 
You know what I'm trying to say? So whoever's job is what or whatever we decide that that is, as long as you do 100% and I do mine 100%, and wherever we fall short, we pick up for each other. For each other. You, you done? Like a, you go for it. I had something to say. I've been what waiting to say this shit. What the fuck you was about shit. to say? You were surprised. So all you niggas, man, because I be saying the podcast <laughs> and shit, and everybody be yapping and over talking all this shit. First of all, everybody always talking like, like I'm the man, I pay the bills, or a girl be like, he should pay all the bills and shit like that. Cool. If you wanna, if you can take care of all the bills, that's cool. But let me tell y'all something, that, and I, I witness this if mm. you don't mind. Yeah, go for it. You niggas ain't paying all the expenses, bro. Y'all niggas ain't making that much money. I mean, I don't want to seem like a hater. It's a really but st- like who's doing it's it? It's different. Who's like, doing I don't, it? And I had bro. What people don't understand is when you say, "All right, I'm gonna take care of everything," right? Mm-hmm. That means everything. Everything. I had to learn that, like, cause like when you was pregnant. Mm-hmm. It's different. Mm-hmm. Like they said, you know what? I got the second job. You ain't gotta be on your feet. You ain't gotta do none of that. Go on ahead. Like, sit down. <laughs> I said, okay. Go ahead. See what she's saying. Kids. Yo. So, yeah. So, go ahead. Let's wait. We can wait. Sorry. Yes, Mo. You fed her at 3 o'clock? 3.30. Feed her at 6.30. Huh? Feed her at like 6.30. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but let her, let, her, let, let her lay there till 6.30. If she go back to sleep, let her sleep. But if she like get a little fussy, you could give her the other bottle. Okay. Bye, babe. Let's get back to this, man. So, yeah, like, I feel like... If I'm a man in a relationship, right? Right. I think paying the bills, and I don't want to sound like one of the, like Andrew Taylor and like that. I feel like paying the bills is it's cool. It if is. you got it. I feel like, I feel like, it's I'm lovely, trying to be careful. Actually. I feel like that's cool. But I think women should at least, because when, when women, I just feel like it's misleading for a woman to be like, my man pay everything. Because if you're, it is misleading. if you're paying for your upkeep, yeah. At least some food. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. But to pay everything is a lot. I just witnessed that. Mm-hmm. And I'm not gonna I think I don't I don't think And I but I, I don't think when women that's why I said I think people be talking to it from a perspective that's not their own because like you said, like I don't even like it's not a large amount of people who can do that. Facts. Like, you know what I'm that's like, what I'm it's, saying. It's, 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 it's too taxing. Like it's a lot of things that little things, like whether it just be little target runs for replenishing of toiletries, body wash, excuse me, hair appointments, nail appointment. I don't know what your upkeep or your maintenance is, but I know my maintenance is expensive. It's ridiculous. My daughter's maintenance is expensive. Her her stuff alone is expensive. Like everything, like it, everything just adds up. Mm. And there's always money to be spent. Like, Mm-mm-mm. plus we ain't even get into the, all the necessities, gas, food, food, everything else. Like that adds on it's to like that. It's like a thousand dollars a month. Yeah, like and things are not cheap. Like you know, go, groceries. We can't even survive off of five hundred dollars. Five hundred is two weeks. That's two weeks. Like you need a thousand dollars in groceries. You need a thousand dollars in gas. Barely... You need a thousand dollars. It's a lot. I'm sorry, five hundred is barely two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. My it's bad. I, this is what because I've I, I, I been <laughs> waiting for, you. bro. I've been yeah. waiting for this because I see a lot of people talking about some man. My girl had to pay for nothing. Well, I feel like I don't know. Yeah, and I think I, I all that to say is the women who do say that I think they do not mind helping though with their upkeep and stuff like that. And I think for women, it's appreciative. So anything else is everything, even if you don't play mm. for my maintenance. Everything is everything else. Like yeah. if, if, so, that's still everything to me because you know something shit, is something, good enough. Exactly, yeah, because you if know you buy yourself, shit is expensive. Facts. Exactly. I think um, what I will say is I don't know if I I don't think I disregarded this before, but maybe, and I apologize mm-hmm. if I did. I do think um, the household duties is not an expense, but that is something to prioritize because if like we we talk well. about fifty fifty. That's not 50-50, right? Well, if, you, if you're cleaning, yeah. you're cooking, yeah. and you paying half. Well, that's why, you know, when you pay these services separately, they're so expensive. Mm. When you book a chef, chefs are expensive. Mm-hmm. When you book a, a housekeeper, they're expensive. Mm-hmm. If you add that up weekly, every meal for seven days, three times a day, and give it to a chef, 
it will astonish yeah, cause, you with that cost. That's a fact. Because there's be, be niggas out here yeah. that be capping too. Like, man, yeah, like, I, I don't need my girl to cook and clean. I can do that myself. Or I'll buy a chef or I'll get You're a, liar, a house. You, cool, do it. You know how much it is to, how not how expensive, but how time consuming it is to prepare meals all day long. It's a lot. Like, nice. you know what I'm saying? Even to just even remember to eat one, that's a lot, depending on how much Shit, you're running around. I ain't gonna lie to you. It seems like it's tough to just do one meal a day. Yeah, it's hard. So, and honestly, especially if you have other things, kids, other things going on, like whatever, it's hard. Then, let alone cleaning, laundry, all of it. Like, it's all taxing. So, what I will say is that's why I think that the conversation is such, is had all the time, though, because like, Women are doing both, mm. right? They are not both, like all of it, because it's not just both, because cleaning is not just one thing, because you're cleaning multiple things mm. and multiple rooms and multiple closets, corners, baseboards. It's, it's it's levels, right? So, and then you're cooking and then you're working. And not to say, you know, I'm a woman's woman, so it's not really abnormal for me to say, like, I cook, I clean. Like, I'm not like, I don't need a trophy for that because mm-hmm. that's just how I was raised Like as a woman. I don't need a trophy. I don't need a man to give me a trophy for it because I couldn't clean because that's what I do. I'm a lady, right? However, it is a lot, and I won't take away from that. It's a lot, especially if I'm working and I'm tired and I'm taking care of kids, whatever. And I think that's where the conversation comes in so much because women want relief. And I will say is when it comes to men, a lot of men will provide but think that's all they have to do. Mm. Or like when it comes to 50-50, will give their 50 but think that's all they have to do. I've talked to several women that do go 50-50 or have at a point go 50-50 with their partner and the woman is still bringing her half, but she's also doing all those other things and the man just brings his half. Mm. And that's all he has to do. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? And at that point, it's not 50-50. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Like It's no longer, it's not 50-50. And I think that's why the conversation gets had so often because a lot of reality is, you know, it's no secret, you know, black women... A lot of us aren't married. A lot of us are single mothers. So they have that toll so high. So can I, I don't want to play devil's advocate. I don't want to call it devil's advocate. I'm going to just say, just sprinkle a little bit of truth on the man's okay. side. And my, I, I personally do think that men want to do that. Want to yeah. take care of the expenses. Want to take care of the bills. Of course. I personally think they, they want to do that. Of course. However, I feel like the internet make it hard for everything. Right? Very true. I mean, it just make it hard for everything. And I, and I say that to say... If woman was to eliminate this 50-50 conversation and stop trying to put, uh, I don't know, like stipulations or what a man should do, it would be more happy because then you wouldn't have other, like this woman probably would never date a guy if he can't pay all the expenses because of what she see on the internet. Why do you think that women are the ones starting that conversation only? That was crazy to say. It was? Yeah. Because that means that you are saying that women start I mean, I don't, I mean. That's kind of one-sided. Yeah, I guess. I, I think because I say that because I think women are saying what they want and i like you know you ever heard the saying like pussy is power for sure right okay. so Fair i say enough. that because what happened is if y'all had higher standards then it would be a lot a, a lot better a lot more better men I hate your a lot more words. better men huh i hate your choice of yeah it would be like, no that's a fact though that's not true you know what I feel so? like if everybody had high standards no if women like... had higher standards it would be a it would be better quality men in the market for sure. I will, I, and I will I feel, st- I, die on a hill. I agree with you. However, I feel like the same goes to men. I feel like if men had higher standards, women wouldn't be out here asking for that. Yeah, if, if, if men had higher standards for themselves. Yes. For themselves, yeah, for sure. But that's what I'm saying. That's, that's how I, work. I feel like it works both yeah. ways. All right, so that's what, what, I'm, that's what, what I'm saying, saying is, like, I feel like women are leading this this generation of the internet are like saying, yo, I need so a man women to pay, are pay, women pay are, everything and so, all this. So it, all the women are just a whole bunch of sexy not red. Not all of them. Not all of them. Not all of them. But I on like the sexy, internet, I like, I like sexy red, by the way. But sexy red? No, nah, no. Nah, sexy red said she she a pay. Half I'm, just saying, man. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So I she that's a bad example because yeah, she that, popped out I like said, I said. I like sexy red. I ain't yeah, saying that about she popped out. Like, I'm just yeah. saying in general. Like so, we just all out here just leading the culture blind. Yo, requesting. it be these internet women, bro. Like if that's we could talk about the men in say. the podcast and the mics. It be the woman in the Instagram and the likes. Woo! The men, the podcast, and the mics would be the woman, the Instagram, and the likes. I'm not gonna be mad at that. So all I'm, I'm not even gonna be so mad at that. So all I'm saying is like, yeah, it be women running around here like, yeah, my nigga need to pay all this da 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 da. da. And it, I'm not gonna say everybody, but what I will say, and I'm gonna talk for me. Forget it. I'm, okay. I'm gonna talk for Jay okay, Hill. Come on. Yo, that shit takes a toll on men that want to do good. 
Because what happened is like, yeah, maybe I, I should have loved myself more. At, at yeah, because why y'all keep but, dating bitches that's running around saying that? I think that there's no, a whole no, no, other no, no, side. No, 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 no. What? Because you was saying yourself. I'm talking what? about me. And you said, why you dating bitches like that? I mean, Not, you, well, you, you said you talking about you. I said, yeah. why you? Okay, so I this, was dating you. You wasn't, but that was it. I went, I'm 150 so, 50 with you, so baby. That's what I'm saying. That's, is that that's what I'm saying? Yeah. So what I'm saying is. Men, like, it'd be women on the gram talking all this, I need my man to pay everything, right? right? And men like myself, which I was at one point, it's hard for, it, it, and I could have did a better job at loving myself, but sometimes it's, it frustrating, it's frustrating because it put an extra amount of pressure on me because now I'm thinking about what, what my girl thinking. Mm -hmm. Now I'm like, man, I know my, and, and let's be real. Y'all yeah. not treating us the best one when we got to go 50-50. Let's be, let's be real. So it's like, I feel like, Men are looking at the ground. They're looking at all these women, and then they 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 they're chasing this lifestyle that they don't have, and they just can't afford at the moment. And they just, I think, they hurt themselves. And I'm not saying we we couldn't do better at that. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying, is I think the internet just you gotta be careful what you consume on the internet. I think the internet plays a part. Facts. But I think we have to do a better job at ourselves because the For reason sure. why I said that is because I noticed you you put a lot of that heat on women. And I also feel like, but you also, in the same breath, you said, I'm thinking what you're thinking. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm yeah, trying to yeah, say? Yeah. Like, you now you thinking for ahead of, of what I'm thinking, and I might not even be thinking that way. Or if I am thinking that way, you don't have to do anything to, if that's if that's out of your nature or not out of your nature or out of your, your, your right. realm or your reach. You, you right. know what I'm trying to say? 100%. So, like, I think, like, even, so women do it too though like you know what I'm saying like I feel like it's the same thing with women getting all these BBLs niggas mm. is running around chasing thick asses fat asses now women are like well I wonder what he's thinking now I gotta go get some titties because That's he true. keep looking at this bitch with titties That's true. now he looking at all these bitches but it's the same thing it's like, all you know what insecurities I'm trying to say? it's all insecurities like you know not realizing like uh, even some men just look at that but that doesn't mean they like they grow with that you know what I'm saying it's the same thing so like shit hey, man. Yeah, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying it's just the same thing and I feel like Younger us, and which is why you could look at it now and look backwards, because younger us, we are filled with insecurities because mm. we don't even know what we want out of life. Like, mm. you know what I mean? So we coming in like, mm, well, they talking about 50-50. Maybe my man's supposed to be buying me all this. Maybe my, you know what I'm saying? Woo, woo, woo. You know? Mm. And then, and now we think that's what we, but we don't really know until we test try it out, right? Mm. So like I said, like a lot of it, I don't think nothing wrong with 50-50 as long as everything is 50-50. You know that's. what I'm trying to say? And that's why I say it really boils down to what works for your house because if y'all come into this, like we won't go 50-50 and like wifey and or boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, don't even got to be a married couple and that's what y'all want to do. Not that I'm condoning shacking up because, you know, that's not what I said. I'm just saying. Whichever way, and they're like, you know what, let's go 50-50, let's go half on these bills, and that's like bet, because that does save everybody money. But, however, we also going to do it with the household duties, duties. Let's split that. You do Monday through Wednesday, I do Thursday through Sunday, mm. and we make this shit work. You know what I'm saying? We all have a free day on this day, and nobody do shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to work at that. That's beautiful if that works for you. If you come into your house and you're man like, listen, I work this many jobs and you work that, I don't need you to do that. I want you to focus on kids, house, this, organize me, and I'm going to bring in this money and that's what it works where your household, y'all do that. Matter you fact. know what I'm trying to say? Or if it works for vice versa, you chasing your dream and ba and the girl got the the good tech job and when she's like, listen, I got the rent, you whatever, you go chase your dream. If that works, do that. Facts. You get what I'm saying? Because it's really all what is going to prevail the house forward. Like, what's going to elevate us forward? And I feel like we had to learn that too. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? At first, it was like this competition. Like, we going 50 50, but I'm also doing this, you doing that, dude. We've mm. been there. Like, mm. it's not like we ain't been there. We've been there, which is why I could turn around and say, like, no, right now, when it boils down to it, is what is going to push the home and everyone forward? Bro, no facts, and, and, and it's, it's this conversation is far beyond fifty fifty, right? This is just the what, how we how we got arrived here, right? Yeah. But I think that the deeper conversation is really understanding what you have, yeah. who you have, right? Because a lot of times it's and so the easy, pros, and the, the pros and the yeah, cons. Yeah, it's so yeah. easy to it's so easy to look at what somebody else has or who somebody else doing. The moment I I I started to love you right or to the best of my ability was the moment i was able to really love you for you mm -hmm. right and, mm -hmm. and and i say that to say because like this is the 50 50 that shit is so just it's low it's, low level it's right low vibrational but but it's, it sparks a great conversation and like what happened is it's so easy to go on the on instagram and be like or not even instagram before you even get to instagram yeah. it's so easy to sit amongst people Right, I do interviews with women all the time, men, and men be like, man, my girl did this. Or my friend would be like, my girl did this. Mm -hmm. And the first thing in my mind is, man, I wish my girl did this, mm -hmm. right? But if I told him 
what my girl did, he probably wish his girl did what mm-hmm. my girl did. But the moment mm-hmm. you can, re- and it sounds so cliche, but it's real. And I wish everybody could understand it because it'd be Instagram. And I was yeah. that guy, that shit. Because like you look at it and you chasing it so much. I want to do this for my girl. I want to do this. I want to be this type of man. And it's like, what do you have with your partner, yeah. right? Because if I look at him like, yo, my girl is super nurturing. She takes care of my family. She gives me life. She pours into my cup when it's half empty. Like she, mm-hmm. she, she prays over me. She like she supports me. And it's some people who, who, who girls couldn't even do that if they tried. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But like, mm-hmm. and that's why I'm, I'm speaking to myself. You feel me? But I was able to the moment I was able to strip everything else of what I was seeing in mm-hmm. anybody else and love you for who you are to me for what I appreciate. That's when I really was like, man, you know what? I, I'm really locked in with this woman. You were like, mm-hmm. this is really my woman and this is the person I want to marry because it's been so many times and I, I fall short too when we sit down, we talk to people be like, damn, man, I wish my right. girl would have put up 50 bands for my business. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, like, right, right. But it's easy to do that right. and I had to tell some of my friends that because they're like, man, I wish my girl was like, Sade, what I'd be like, bro, don't yeah. do that, bro. Yeah. Like, that's that's not, that's yeah. the last thing you want to do because that's yeah. going to hurt you. Yeah. But it go back to the 50-50. If, like you said, if you work, and your girl can, man, you know how much, you know how, how appreciative, how grateful I am for you to be able to cook, clean, don't complain about it. And that's your, like, your responsibility. Like, that makes it easy for me to chase my dream. Mm-hmm. Like, it's I, for you to take care of Amaya, Amaya, Alani, and just hold down the house. Like, mm-hmm. bro, it could be so different. It could be so much different. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, mm-hmm. and like, I don't know. It was a time where I was overlooking that. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not going to lie. Well, I, was, I think yeah. too, though, like I've seen something recently, like how overlooked, I think it's probably also, there's a stigma because there's a stigma around everything, but it's a stigma around just like stay at home mothers, mm. how much they're overlooked. Right. Because it's shunned upon because it's like, if you're not doing this, you're not on anything, right? And I think so many people got to forget. They forget a couple things, okay? First of all, the provider probably wasn't always the provider. Mm. You know what mm-hmm. I'm trying to say? Sometimes stay-at-home mothers become stay-at-home mothers because they already did the working thing. And then they, then the men f- finally got to a career point level where it made sense. Like, now we could do this. Or vice versa. Sometimes mm. stay-at-home mothers started off as breadwinners or all these things. And now they're able to stay home with their kids. Like, people don't see the process they just Mm. see the end goal and they're like oh my god like i could never i couldn't do this and that and they don't know the process like you know what i mean something like men can't wait to get to a certain level in their career to say hey i sat my wife down hey i put my mom you know uh, in a house hey i did this and then these women don't have to y'all want self lives but don't want self lives yeah Mm. like people want self lives but don't want to see nobody get a self life it's weird like and then when you get them people criticize it like oh you ain't on nothing. Y'all don't do nothing all day. All y'all do is go to Starbucks five times a day and you walk the dogs you and take care. And do. And do. Because you don't know what the fuck I did to do. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like they say like, everybody want to be the boss, but they don't want to yeah, do the work. Yeah, but you know exactly. But Or even seeing how much a toll things are. Because, like, for example, like, Amaya has practice five days out the week. Mm. If I had An the, hour away. Yeah. yeah. Every day, every single day. So the toll from getting up, getting her to school, coming home, picking her up, cooking dinner, going back, dropping her off, pick her back up. Like people have no idea even how much energy and things like things like that take. You get what I'm saying? But they like, oh, still have to clean. You know what I'm saying? You know, suck a little dick. I don't know. Just it's just a a lot. I be throwing my shit. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. Wait, (laughs) you Amaya. I might come home, leave her shit over the door. I done cleaned everything. I'm like, yeah, I got to be fucking kidding me. Nah, fact. But like all of it, like, so people don't know the process behind any angle of it from the start to the finish, what's in it. But people are always criticizing certain things. But so it just makes it harder for all of it. And that's why I'm saying, that's why I say like this, it's the social media, it makes it so hard because you don't see that process. Yeah. Right. As somebody asked me, uh, invest was the hard, I think the most things that get overlooked. I think is the process. Yeah. Because that's something that you don't see on Instagram. Yeah. You see, we talking about 50-50. Yeah. So, yeah, you see, damn, Jay pay all the bills, but she don't yeah. know what was going on right. before that. Or or Tim Tim, mm-hmm. got, but, and that's yeah. why I say what happened is like, I think, and I, I was speaking to a woman because this was a woman example for me, not mm-hmm. it, it in its totality, but I feel like what happened is a girl will see a man taking, all, taking, taking care of the bills, right? And she would expect that from 
her man at the moment when that's not where they are. Yeah. And I think I was talking to somebody, a guy at my church, and he was like, yo, what happened is my girl had to go through, and, and I mean, some people could say it's unfair, but he was like, my girl had to go through some things to get this version of me. But what happened is people Literally. see something on Instagram or social media and they want that version of somebody they have no idea who they are of somebody that that's two different yep. people, like two different yep. lives. Like you don't know what, bro. And then then they'll leave because they, they mm -hmm. shed it shallow and it's like, yo, no, I want somebody like this. Yep. But if you would have stayed with the person you was with, you could have loved them until we got to that. I seen something so cool and I, I feel bad, so bad for my ignorance because I didn't get to hold on to the actual um video that I had because I didn't know we were going to have this conversation. But the woman was talking about how women want men who lead. Mm -hmm. But what a lot of what leading is is what people don't understand because God called plenty of his disciples to come do things just by faith alone. No answers, mm. no questions. Facts. And their wives had to follow them. Mm. You get what I'm saying? They have no questions. They don't know what's about to happen. They, they're walking by faith by alone, right? Mm. And I forgive me for my ignorance because I wish I had some of these exact quotes and scenarios from the Bible. But God had called plenty of his disciples to do certain things just to listen to him. Mm. Don't ask no questions, no faith. And the wives are expected to follow you know, said husband, are you able to follow your man to lead in the same way? Because mm. if you don't know where he's going, if you don't know why he's going there and he's just not there yet, are you willing to take that that lead and then get to that point when he reaps his harvest of what he did? Are you willing to take that ride? You know what I mean? And I think that's really a lot of it. It's not even just that people are want the the version that they see. Well, it, a lot of it is that they do want the version that they see, but they also are not willing to walk the faith Yo, to get there. Hey, you know what's crazy, baby? Right, I'm sorry, because we no, here. Because we get to talk about, bro, I really be in my bag when it comes to this church stuff. So, like, it's crazy that you say that because, like, like before you even get to the woman and the man, right? A lot mm -hmm. of people not really walking by faith. And yeah. hold up, hold up. So, uh, that's crazy that you said that, right? So, the story of uh, Noah's Ark, and mm -hmm. I think Gideon with the uh, the three hundred, right? Okay. And that was it, this was like the perfect stories of having faith, yeah, right. And I, I want to see if uh, if my digging answer the phone. Uh, yo, are you busy? Uh, kind of. What's going on? Give me uh, two minutes if you don't mind. Okay. All right, you on my podcast? It's the Gemini Scorpio podcast. You uh, with me and my um, fiance. All right. So we talking about we talking about faith right now, and it's crazy because we just talked about we just had this uh. We just had this discussion in church on uh, Saturday, right? Give me the two examples, if you don't mind, of um, was it Gideon? Was am I saying it right? And yeah, right. and um, the three hundred men when it was a thousand men, and God was saying, uh, "Nah, you need to go back and you need to get rid of more of them, right?" And he, and he got it down to three hundred. Right, right. That was in Judges, the Book of Judges. Right, and then there was a, another one with uh, Noah's Ark, right? The boat, the ark, the steering, the, what do you call it? the steering wheel. He didn't have the um the things that that make the help the boat uh sail. Yeah. Right, and um, basically, was it God or who, who was it that told him build the boat? Yeah, God gave uh, strict instructions on how to build the the boat, the ark. Right. He had no way to control the boat from the blueprint. Exactly, but if he would have if he done it himself or if he had fight faith in God, it would it would have messed the whole thing up basically. Facts. Now that was it. I was just making sure I had the two stories right. Appreciate you, bro. All right, brother. All right. But I said that we talking about faith, right? And mm -hmm. we talk about these old testaments in the Bible where God is saying, "Look, do this." They, right. Mm -hmm. He's about to go face three thousand people. Mm -hmm. I only got a thousand. I'm already down mm -hmm. a couple, like two numbers, right? God say, "Nah, we need less people." They so they take him to the water and he get to drink and he's like everybody gonna drink but it's, it's we gonna see in your temperament mm -hmm. if you really wanted or not mm -hmm. got it down to three hundred to go fight three thousand people to go fight three thousand come on yep. that's faith mm -hmm. right so it's like we talk about faith and people like what it, like people man listen mm -hmm. so it's like you again to your point mm -hmm. you say you want that yeah but are you even are yeah. you even are built you, are you are equipped, you built or are you equipped are, to do that to even follow yeah. your man to until it's time for him to really get and, that and lifestyle to you not even just you. your man amen because mm. I feel like a lot of 
a lot of times right now is what's going on. Women like, okay, I want a man like this. But I ain't finna do this. I ain't finna do that. I ain't finna do this. I ain't finna do that. And it's like, well, babes. So I, let, and you know. Let me, well, let, me, let me ask you this. Yeah. When women say that, right? It's like they want a man like this. But what have you done? Not even yeah. what you brought to the table. It's like, because if you get me, yeah. right? Like, I don't think a woman can. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't just be any old woman to get me at the level I'm at right now. Right. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Of like, course. we got to go through something. Right. Like, you put in work time like you you were patient with me you helped me you said that like you feel me like but not even just that i mean i worked on myself too like facts. you know what i'm saying because like a lot of times people don't understand that people really are marrying them and i feel like a lot of times that we what we didn't realize what was happening is we were actually clashing in areas because it was areas that we needed to fix in ourselves facts. had we not seen it we didn't wouldn't even know what triggers or things to work on mm. so people what happens is a lot of time people get together somebody will trigger something in them or show them and they run because they don't want to fix the things that they're facts. actually mirroring Mm. and somebody else because at the end of the day we attract a lot of what we are you know what i mean and sometimes you got to use discernment because some some of it's not good but you know you do have to pray for discernment a lot of times because some of it may just be a mirror mm. and it's not necessarily means um that you can't do this or you got to walk away from this it means what are you willing to fix to move around this or mm. to get over this blockage that you guys have. And I think that for us, we were able to come together and continuously are still doing it. It's not a finished product. We are not a finished product. And I don't want that to be confused either. We're not at no final destination point, but we've overcome a lot of things because we were able to marry each other and fix things that we were triggered by within ourselves, within each other. And understand that that takes self-work. That's not just a one-sided thing. That's not one person changes and one person does this and I do this. So now I make it here. That's uh we are doing this. I did this, you did this, and now we can come together in this way. You taught me so much. You know what one, I'm gonna only say one of the things that you taught me that uh that made me better. What? That made me better at doing you helped me be a better giver. And it's crazy because I always thought I was a good giver, right? But you helped me be able to give and not expect anything. Yeah. And I say it because, like, yeah. it's different. Like, so you can get, it's, it, I feel like it's two For sides sure. to it, right? You can give and not expect nothing in return, yeah. but I feel like we always expect something in return. Always. Point, point example reciprocation. Right, so it's like we like we always say recipro, and it's cool. I, I feel like some things can be reciprocated, of course. but sometimes we give. It's like okay, if you don't give me, oh at least God. appreciate okay. me, right? It's but if like you, you give, in, still, you still have to give me something. Yeah, yeah it's like validation. Exactly. As well. It's not even just give me something. It's like you have to validate me, right, to make me feel good enough that I did it, right? Or if you don't, but you, you, but you know so saying? now you now still you, are. Now you're not a good person, you're right? Not good, you know but what now saying? you still are mm -hmm. expecting something, yeah. right? And I feel yeah. like with you, I think because we had our arguments, and I'm like, man, but I did, 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 did this. Mind you, that don't have nothing to do with what we talking yeah. about. But it's like, and it was like, man, I remember you used to always say, uh, if you're gonna do something, don't throw it in my face, and I would be so confused because it's like, I'm not throwing in your face. I'm just telling you, like, I feel like you not appreciate me, so I'm trying to, mm -hmm. I'm trying to show you the things I do so I can feel appreciated. Mm -hmm. And it was like. At that moment, once I learned, it was like, okay, so maybe I am unconsciously throwing it, or I am just throwing it in their face or bringing up what I did for. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I, don't, I only do it once I feel like I'm unappreciative. Mm -hmm. But then, did you really do it out of love? Because right. then you wouldn't bring it up at all. Right. And I, and I think it's nothing wrong with feeling appreciated, you right. know what I'm saying, for the things that you did, right? I think you should feel appreciated for the things you did. I don't think nobody should take you, you for granted or anybody who does things for you for granted. However, I do believe heavily that when you genuinely do things out of love, you don't really care how anybody exactly. takes it. Nah, because facts. that's not, the goal is never to feel anything. It's to do it because I did it. I wanted to genuinely do it because God blessed me to be able to Come do on, it. I, 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 I feel good in my spirit to do it for you. I don't care how you do. I don't care how you feel about it. Feel about me. It does not matter. I did facts. this for you. No, it, well, I did this for, 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 for you, me. but for me. Yeah, like facts. I did it because... I, I, I wanted to. I wanted to. And and, and you know like what I mean? we talk about it, but I feel like yeah. appreciation, we had this conversation. Yeah. Appreciation is 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 like respect. Right. It's relative. Mm -hmm. So let's say, I don't know, I don't do the dishes, right? Mm -hmm. And you say, babe, like, yo, like I, I thought you said we were gonna do dishes. Let's say you complaining, whatever, mm -hmm. right? Now I feel unappreciative. I mean, I feel like you unappreciate mm -hmm. me. Because again, you talk about something that don't have nothing to do with, right. I don't know, let's say I 
I took you to the mall yeah. yesterday, right? You complain about these dishes, but I, I just, just took, took you, you to the, the mall, right? Like, what? What does that have to do with the damn dishes? <laughs> but like, that's why I feel like yeah. appreciation, I feel like it's kind of relative. It's like respect yeah. is relative because you, just because you saying that or you mm-hmm. might be complaining or you might have had a bad day, whatever, that don't mm-hmm. mean I don't appreciate you. This is why I think like, and it's been heavy on my, my mind a lot of times with just people in general. This is why I think reading the room is so important to be able to do. Mm. Because I feel like when you can appro- appropriately read the room, you can also give appreciation, mm. give reassurance, and give these things without needing something to be done or not done. Right. Mm. So, for example, I should be able to appreciate you without you doing the dishes either. Mm. Because, like... I just appreciate you because maybe you did take me to the mall the day before. I thank you or whatever. So if you didn't do the dishes today, I, I can give you grace because mm. like I understand that maybe your hands were tied because I know you're willing to do things for me. But to to assess that, I have to read the room to understand what just happened. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing as like reassurance. I should be able to tell you I appreciate you for doing all that because you know what? I didn't tell you that. Maybe I didn't say thank you or something the other day about something, but you know what? You went out your way. You did this, whatever. You didn't do the dishes, but let me just make sure I reassure you that I appreciate you so you don't go around feeling unappreciated. But to do that, you have to read the room. Mm. And I think people, like, don't read the room with their loved ones a lot. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because we're subconsciously going through our day-to-day, doing what we do normally, working, whatever, living in la-la land in our own head of all our conscious, you know, things we're going on. And we're not being mindful of the people around us to just say, hey, you're doing a good job today. Mm. Hey, thank you for this today. Hey, whatever. You have to read the room with your loved ones Mm. because that's how you're able to give those things freely without it being attached to something. But if you're not reading the room with them, you're also not paying attention to them. So therefore you can't give free reassurance free appreciation, whatever. Every time you think to do it, it's going to be attached to something. Yo, you know what else you told me, babe? Because when you're not doing that, um, presumably, what's the word? Or you're, you're also not being intentional. Exactly. And a lot of times- Reading I, the room is being intentional. I, I used to get caught up in this like, that wasn't my intent. I didn't mm-hmm. mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. But mm-hmm. yeah, that wasn't your intent because you to, wasn't intentional. You, hey, Make your intentions meet your actions. Yeah, because if you were intentional, yeah. you would be intentional not to do that. Exactly. Right? Because that's what intention yeah. is. It's like, I didn't mean to... I tell mm-hmm. my this all the time, right? My mm-hmm. mom told me some mistakes are too costly to make, right. right? So it's like, my bad. I'm sorry. You can't say that all the time. Mm-hmm. So next time, before you, you before you just turn around and you knock the, the cup mm-hmm. off the, the, the counter and it's splash and it's all sticky. Mm-hmm. Now we got answers. Something I was like that. Now you 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 making sure that there's nothing behind yeah. you. Mm-hmm. You might take your book bag that extra, off. That extra care. You're taking that extra step to be intentional. Mm-hmm. And that's what happens with relationships. A lot of times we get lost in they say, you know, shit, the payway to hell was paid the the, the road to hell was paved in good, good intentions. intentions. Right? Yeah. So like, yeah, you can have good intentions all your all all your life. Mm-hmm. But if you make the wrong decision, it's still is shit, good intention, bad judgment. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? So it's like Yep. I feel like with our relationships in general, we got to be more intentional of others because yep. how do we feel when people ain't being intentional with exactly. us? Exactly. Mm. Exactly. And I think fact. it's not even just with relationship. It's with friendship. You know what I'm saying? It's with fit, all the all, ships. All ships. <laughs> so, you know, mother-daughter relationship, father-daughter, mm-hmm. son, all of it, all of it. It it be more intentional and read the room with your loved ones because it just, you know, you could give that extra step of just love, care, reassurance, whatever, appreciation. So that way, when things are being said or critiqued or you need to tell somebody you don't like something, they're not auto saying, you don't appreciate me because you don't make them feel appreciated because you're not being intentional. Back to the 50-50. What people don't also don't um, realize is the emotional roller coaster that that brings on the other partner too. For you was sure. you were telling me like how you was feeling you were even feeling like I don't know inadequate or like you wanted to do more cuz you felt like I was doing yeah. so much you like Yeah, no for like, sure. Bae, like like I you remember, doing your part. Yeah, no for sure. Like I think like when I first like sat down and I wasn't working no job which is you know abnormal for me because you know I've grown to be independent in my own as well. Like you know we talked about last earlier in the episode about like just our relationship with our parents so like I came out on my own and then when I finally sat down I felt like these little insecurities because it was like dang like 
now I'm not contributing financially. And I feel like a lot of times we hide behind like a lot of our titles. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I used to work for the government. So I used to like, yeah, I work for the government. Da, 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 and then I didn't have a title to hide behind anymore. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Which also came with finances. And a lot of times finances is speaking for people or their titles speaking for people. So now I don't have nothing to speak for me. I only have me, right? And me didn't feel enough sometimes because it was like, you were working two jobs. You doing podcasts. You bringing in money on here, here, here. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm doing things, but it didn't. I didn't have a cloak to hide behind to say, but this is, you know, my title. This is what I do, what I do. But I had to learn what I was doing was important. And Sucks. it, and when, you know, when it was whooping my ass, I knew it was important. But there was times I just didn't feel like it was important because, you know, it just didn't seem as high on a pedestal as what you were doing. Mm. And um, I think we had got to a point, though. Where even you, like, it's, it, you know, I feel like at a point in our relationship when, like, even when we were doing the 50 50 thing and we were going through our emotions of how we were feeling about, you know, going 50 50 and it wasn't good, you know what I'm saying? But I think we came to a point now where it was like respect on both sides. Like, it was nice. like, I see what you're doing, yeah. but I see what you're doing. Like, mm. I knew finances was whooping your ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I was like, oh, I know this money is tearing him up. I'm turning around. Hey, I need Spanking my hair. me. Oh my god. I need my hair done. I might need this for competition. Oh, babe, by the way, I ran out of body wash. Oh, but I, like we was running in jet hours. I felt bad sometimes even. Then boom, baby as, shower. Right, oh. baby shower. Oh, then and then he went and got a ring. I was I started to feel bad. Like, oh, we all up in J Pocket. Then I still I'm got paid the team. I got studio. Niggas yeah, don't... it was crazy. And I felt bad. And I was but Mm. You also made sure you understand, like, no, I feel bad for you. Because, nah, you know what I'm saying? I feel like we day, both. Uh, my, uh, it was traffic. It, it was a lot. And I feel Still like we were cooking. able to look at each other and be like, I appreciate you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's doing their part. Because after the end I come home, good cook meal, get my good feet up, man. Like, nah, that shit matters. I yeah. feel like people overlook that. And, like, but to that point, to, that's why these, that's, listen, I'm talking to you motherfuckers. That's why they say, when I made it, I ain't changed the people around me. Mm -hmm. Cause you see how I think we just named mm -hmm. expenses and shit like that. Mm -hmm. What happened is somebody who knows nothing about me or think they know me yeah. be like, Jay, look, he got it. Yeah, he can help me out. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I can't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm getting Tied spanked. Up. Like yeah. you talk about like Tied up. niggas think nah, they you were you were you know, and it was crazy because like watching. my you know I'm pregnant and I'm taking it easy and I'm like oh well I don't have to work right now you know what I'm saying people are like what you doing girl you know resting because I'm prepping my baby and you were running from work to work to work to work and you know and people were like they was like and it was like and I feel you know so I understand like what you were going through at that mm. time and I think that's what also kept us having some respect a lot of respect grew you know in that process because it was just like I understood what you was going through and I think you understood what I was going through so I want to throw your curve ball yeah before we get out of here let's do total curve ball I've been hearing this conversation a lot lately. What? What do you think you bring to the table? I am the motherfucking type. Say, you know, that's that cliche. Uh, I'm curious. Well, I think for me, I bring me to the table, and I feel mm. like I'm authentically myself at all times. You know what I'm saying? And I think that is so important in a time where people who don't know who they are. And I think when I come, I come with God. I don't walk alone. You know exactly what you get with me, whether you don't like it or you like it. And I think that is important. Um, and other than that, like you know, go deeper. Come on. I mean, let's, let's get it's like okay. Let's, let's entertain. The I, like I said, authentically myself, I mm -hmm. think that's just different in a time where so many people are trying to figure out who they are. Mm. I've, I feel like I've always known who I am in a sense where I knew, like I always had like a backbone. You know what I'm saying? I used to uh, like shout out to my friend Kayla because it's just a saying that we lived by for a long time that she's even got tatted on her back that she would always tell me, my best friend, you can't put a back, uh, you can't put a wishbone where your backbone ought to be. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I've always had a backbone. I always stood on my ten toes. You know what I'm saying? And I think. For me, that's a big deal. You know what I mean? But other than that, I think, you know, I'm I'm a team player. You mm. know what I mean? And I think, like, I'm going I'm to ride it out with you. You know what I'm saying? Broke, money, whatever, because I'm a team player. You mm. know what I'm saying? As long as I know that you got me like I got you. You know what I'm saying? So I think it doesn't matter where we are. If you got a team player, everybody's going to survive. The ship won't tank. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, what you ain't going to do, I'm willing to do. You know what I'm saying? But it works for us because you always going to do. You know what I'm saying? You always going to do, but I'm always doing my part as well. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, outside, I mean, I know. I'm I'm a mom. like, But I've been a mom before I was a mom. So I think, like, that. I used to get mad when you used to be like, oh, I love you. You're just so nurturing. Because they're like, Ugh. I'm more than nurturing. Like, I do a lot of other stuff. But I think, like, at this point in my age, like, I've just adapted that. I'm, I'm a very catering loving type of person and i think like people need love and i and i finally 
accepted that. I'm okay to be the one to give it. You know, because I used to run from it. I say, do you understand that it's women out here who couldn't no, nurture get, or love? I have friends. No, like, I get it. I have friends. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know yeah, if you know no, that. No, like, I get it. Like, like, that's but like something. I said, like I used to run from it simply because like. I want to be loved too. Like mm-hmm. sometimes it get hard, like being a nurturer because you want somebody to nurture you, and, mm-hmm. and it's crazy because like even in our relationship, I know that not to say it like this, but nurturing is not your role. No. And but I like I feel like sometimes it is okay to trade off of certain things because that's my strength. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I wish somebody would just fucking wash my clothes. Mm-hmm. I wish somebody would just, you know what I mean? Like, and I think I told you in um, pregnancy, I was like, sometimes I feel like I needed a me. Like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I needed somebody to double check up on this, do this, make sure I had this, whatever. And I never really. Had that so sometimes I'd never like being a nurturer because mm. you have to also accept the fact that you're the nurturer like you know what I'm saying you're that person and sometimes you're just not going to have that for you you know what I'm saying but I think as I grow in my spirit with God like I feel like I I allow God to nurture me in places that people can't reach you know what I mean I think that's just a, a whole another conversation for another day that you get to when it comes to spirituality like you know what I'm saying sometimes it's not for other people to do sometimes it's not for me to turn to people sometimes it's for God to fill mm. and I had to you know again that's something I learned through this pregnancy you know what I mean so um, I've had to accept that that you know I'm the lover yeah, no, nah, facts. Yeah. So basically, what I hear was you used to sit at the table with your friends, and mm-hmm. the girls used to be like, "Yeah, my man just cooked me dinner, did my dish, did the dishes." No, and I did be like, not Damn, say I that. Wish I had no, I like never, that. I never said that. Because uh, to be honest, like I, I mean, I'm not gonna say it. like I've dealt, I've dated some guys who clean and some guys who. Damn, cook. I'm not clean. No, I'm saying like clean, like clean, like you know, like clean up all the time, like clean, like made clean, like clean up all the time. I don't get what you're saying. You don't made clean. <laughs> you so clean you miss them, basically. No. So that was the one that what got I'm away. What I'm saying is... So that's the nigga I've you, dated, you dream about still to this day? No, that's not what I said. You don't like Bro, hearing about no other niggas? I mean, go ahead. Tell me. Go ahead. Because when you told me that you could get it real, real good, I had to sit through that. You feel what I'm saying? So all I'm saying... <laughs> I don't forget. All I'm saying is... I've dated guys that cook a clean, but like again, like you have to figure out what your trade offs are because there was other things I didn't like. It doesn't. It does not always matter if... Say, you say, your friends, we talking about how they got, they could cook, they can clean. What if they attitude bad? They ain't got no riz. You like that? I hated that, but whatever. <laughs> I've been dying to Disgusting. <laughs> they ain't got no charisma. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got no poise. They ain't got... <laughs> I'm probably going to tear me up for that one. Um, they ain't got no riz. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got you. Know, they ain't got it. And it's just like, I don't care how much you cook it or you clean it. I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like you got to trade. You got it's just everybody not going to check off every box, but as long as they didn't check off the boxes that are super important to you. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I, you sound like you was a little passionate about that. You talking about these niggas that clean. And that's not. That's not. Clean. No, that was that. That That's that insecurity because <laughs> you be throwing shit around. Yeah, fuck them niggas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See, because you got riz. Yeah, yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> All right, man. That was good, but I appreciate it. Uh, um, I said I appreciate After- it like it was an interview with that. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta don't mix up your I sets. I said I appreciate it. Don't like, mix up your sets because that's no, what you just man, that, was, that was great, man. Uh, basically, well, how do we? What, what do we uh, end with? Do 50/50? what works for you. Mm. Now that's cliche. What? 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 Like if you, I was about to say, if your nigga got a bag and he want and you want to clean, cook, do whatever, do that. If your girl got a bag and you chasing your dream, do that. If y'all going fifty fifty. Let that go 50 50 with that girl across the room, across the realm. Don't be letting her cook clean and go 50 50 with you. Do it all with her, too. Yeah, do what fits your situation. Don't let Instagram, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Run yep. how y'all do anything Have, because we're Instagram about to run in the ground. Facts, you know what I'm saying? Next thing so, you know, Instagram gonna be gone with the whim just like yeah. Facebook and you're gonna be looking crazy. Yeah, now y'all looking for the next I would def- social media fix. I would definitely say, man, like, have a conversation with, with your partner. And like like Shade said, like do what works best for y'all. Have mm-hmm. an understanding between y'all, and then have the rest of the world. Like y'all mm-hmm. can play with the the rest of the world. Like I said, like let, as long as we talk about mm-hmm. these things behind closed doors, we can get on here and talk about whatever because it might go viral. Yeah. Y'all can judge us however yeah. you want, but that won't matter because we already had our conversation. We exactly. already know where we are with it. But exactly. yeah, I agree. And until you get a partner, if you ain't got one yet, and you just trying to figure out where to go, yo, run your bag up, do what you do for you, and don't ask nobody to do nothing for you that you can't do for yourself. Woo! What a word. Oh, man. Gemini Scorpio Podcast, episode 80. All right. Episode 80, man. Make sure you uh, tap the subscribe button. Make sure you tap the notification bell. Ring the bell. Yo, audio, 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 audio. You doing money again? Nah, nah, nah. (laughs) Look, I need you to subscribe to the audio. Give us a comment. I mean, leave us a rating. 
right? Please leave us a five star rating. Mm-hmm. Comment, say you love this podcast, what it do for you, what it don't do for you, whatever. Just leave a rating. And um, because this is what's going to help us get to the number one podcast in the relationship category Thank on you. Apple and Spotify. What if I leave? What if I you at? She dot Shade, S H E dot S A D E. Yeah. Mr. Underscore J Hill, Gemini Scorpio Podcast is a wrap. We out. It's a wrap.